In a time of personal prayer and supplication right now before the Lord, I hear this very strong in my in my spirit. We need to pray for healing. I'm praying for healing, Father, for myself. Healing from in every organ of the body, every system of the body, and then also for protection from all foolishness in this world, evil. Just keep us, me, in the cocoon of your the force field, the glory, the covering of your safety. Psalm 512 said, you'll surround me as, a, as with a shield of favor. Your favor, your blessing, it makes me rich and has no sorrow. Proverbs 10, 22. Matthew 8, 17, you said, Jesus took. In Matthew 8, 17, Lord, you said Jesus took infirmities and sicknesses away from us. And we claim that so in Jesus' name for us right now. John 3, 16, God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. You gave your only Son as a sacrifice, Lord, for, for his resurrection power when he was resurrected to be given to us for the salvation package of the sozo, the Greek word sozo, which is the benefit package of salvation, healing, prosperity, deliverance from death, deliverance from poverty, deliverance from fear, deliverance from oppression, deliverance from physical death, deliverance from eternal death, deliverance from sickness and disease, deliverance from poverty, struggling, lack, oppression, and evil in Jesus' name. And I am delivered from it and all your precious people Lord, I delivered from it. Thank you for strength. Praying next about the spirit of might and power. Strength. According to Isaiah 11, 2, spirit of might, what came upon Samson, what came upon Caleb, what came upon Elijah, what came upon Moses and Joshua and Abraham, and David, oh my, Solomon even, to, to offer a thousand animals. To have, and then to have a thousand women, powerful men. And Gideon, the little one who thought he was nobody. And the angel came to him and said, Thy mighty man of valor, you mighty man of valor. He said, Who, me? After Gideon won the battle, destroyed 32,000. Or more with 300 men. After that, he fathered 70 children, 16 different wives. I believe it was. That's not a small man. That's not an insignificant person. That's a powerful man. So the spirit of might and power, we need it. By the Holy Ghost, say amen. Strength, health, healing, prosperity, deliverance from anything wrong, the destruction of every evil force that ever came against us. Limitations broken and destroyed completely right now. They are. In Jesus' name, no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. We're protected because we're your beloved. And the money is coming to us. The wealth is coming to us. The favor is coming to us. It's upon us. The creativity, the brilliance, the operations, the wisdom. The empire within the empire is being built. It's being built through us, Lord, to expand your kingdom all around the world. And all of your blessings are coming upon me and your chosen elect good people for the purpose of establishing our righteous stand in the world to do more, to expand and to increase, to amplify your voice like Psalm 35, 27 said, we amplify your, your voice. We magnify your, your name and your power. And then um, we receive every good thing that you've ordained to do more, to have more, to be more, to go more, to produce more, to provide more, to sow more, to give more. That's the prayer. And give us perfect health, as I started out. Perfect health. These are, these are fierce prayers for victory. 
in areas of our lives that we need it. And we thank you, Lord, right now. In Jesus' holy name. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Every provision of luxury, resource, comfort. That also protects us. It takes wear and tear. It takes wear and tear off the body. It takes stress off of us. And it changes everything for the better in our life and in our lives so that we can do more for you in Jesus' name and also enjoy more of the earth that you've ordained. You know, we got to go everywhere. We got to see everything. We got to do everything. We have to be everything. We have to be the head and not the tail. I am a king. I am a ruler. I'm a leader. I'm an ambassador of the kingdom of God. I'm a rich king. I'm a blessed king. I'm a mighty man of valor, full of God's power. I am a mighty man of valor, full of God's power, and producing everything he wants produced all over the world. In Jesus' mighty name, it is thus and so. It is thus and so. Amen and amen. Health, protection, favor, prosperity, healing power all through me. Yeah. Speak that out of your mouth and say, by faith I believe for everything good to happen. Every limitation and obstacle broken and destroyed. Everything that's not of God, destroyed. Every plan of the wicked against us is nullified and crushed to nothing. And, and yeah, Lord, and people are going to rise to the great occasion to help me do your will and your work. That favors there. People that will love us, love what we're doing, love what we're about, love our uniqueness. The grace of God that's upon us. Lord, you've, you've carved out a place, not carved it uh, like a, you, you've made and created an oasis, a place, a movement for us in the earth in this generation. And we will not be finished until it's all, until it's all said and done. Not just said, but done. First said and then done. And I thank you, Lord, for your favor and your touch that you're causing it all to happen now in Jesus' name. Say amen. These are fierce prayers for fulfilling the will of God and the covenant of his resurrection power and life is for me and it's for you if you claim it and receive it. That healing, health, prosperity, blessing, protection, and the destruction of death, poverty, danger, harm, evil, wicked, stupid people, they can't access us at all. They don't know where we are. They can't see us. Lord, you put a smoke screen like a cloud over us, a fire around us, that they can't see what we're doing. The forces of evil and evildoers and idiots, the idiots of the world, the, the, the fools and the evildoers, the sons of the devil, the crafty crooks, liars, cheaters, thieves, destroyers, idiots, infidels, scumbags, trash heaps, Pieces of you-know-what. Those kind of people. Yeah, I can say that because that's the way they are. That's the way they operate. There are people like that. Oh, I've seen them. Some people, they, they've had this nice little life, and they think, oh, you know, you know, it's not like that. Oh, why would you even allude to that? No, I've seen it. I've experienced it. You have no idea. So I know these people. You say, is there hope for them to get saved? It's their problem. <laughs> it's on them, the buffoons. If they get it, you know, whatever. I, I don't I don't I really don't want to see them anywhere in my quadrant of heaven where I am. I wouldn't want to see them. And then now I say that in a funny way, but the unrepentant will not be in heaven. And most people I've seen that are evil, they they never repent. Oh, what are they going to get in their deathbed? Caught, broken, destroyed. People coming back at them and they start to cry for help because, 
because what they sowed to destroy the lives of others, now they're being destroyed. So they want to cry like they deserve everything good now. After they've did nothing, after they've done nothing but been a, a destroyer of good lives and good works and good people. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, if that happens again, that's on them. That's out of our hands. But we have to be protected from that. And whatever happened any time in life that anyone experienced an adversity, a problem, a setback, a real terrible thing that happened uh, that was evil, an onslaught of the devil, an onslaught of the, of the, from the devil and his ugly friends, we say it'll never happen again. We're covered and protected. We're wiser. We're smarter. We know what to do by way of experience. And Lord, you're gonna make you're gonna make me a blessing to this generation. Yet, you know, the voice of God coming through me is gonna touch and resound in the ears and minds and hearts and eyes to, for people to see of millions of people on the earth, even billions, if it could be so. Let it be done in Jesus' name. The best is yet to come. The latter house is greater than the former house. What's to come? is greater than anything that's been, even no matter how great things were at any time along the journey. And we've had a lot of great times and experiences and great impacts across many nations, but it is not, it is little to compare with what's coming next. And God's empowering me and us with the provisions and the resources to get it all done now in Jesus' name. So Lord, thank you for your health, your favor, your protection, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your strength, your might, your energy. Give us, give me divine energy and strength. Complete health, cleansing of all the organs of the body, fixing of everything within. That everything in this temple works sickness free, disease free, in perfect health and strength. For the glory of God that we can do all that you've ordained. And thank you for all the provision that's coming now. Right now. Even today. In Jesus name. It's coming into our hands. All of it. Every kind of good thing. And of, of resources. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really, really happening. It is really happening, my friend. It is really happening. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that it is done in manifestation for me and for us right now. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, amen. I'm Thomas Manton IV. These are fierce prayers for victory in every area of our life. I'll put another title on this. This is, I think, the, the fifth volume, volume five of these and that I've done in the last week or so. And uh, more coming. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name.